Thought I'd show you guys these pads right now. It's just past four in the morning, I think, or something like that. You get some good snow. Yeah, check out these pads. I just stepped on one, so there's gonna be a little snow from my foot, but look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna walk on it and then have the car running I have the automatic start or the remote start deal so let's get her going Woo. the other videos are uploading right now Shut the windshield wipers off. I need to start wearing gloves up here. I never wear gloves up here. Okay, so let's get this much. There we go. A little bit better. But we're gonna keep them going like this for a little bit just to warm them up so they don't continue to uh, ice up. All right, so let's just go through.
it's dumping right now, guys. We're caught up in this pile of snow on the left. We're good now. And we're gonna slow her down even more. Woo! Windshield wiper slowing down. the other way so it'll feel like a totally different trip. Yeah I know. I know. This guy's smoking too much. I know. Check this out, this is pretty sweet. And those of you that are interested, I have another YouTube channel. I know I've, I, I'm talking about it a little bit, but I think you guys would be interested. Um, it deals with staying at like really nice luxury hotels and stuff and I treat my mom every time and Basically, I just do like a nice video of it with um, just nice music in the background and it, I try to make it feel like you're really there so you can visualize being there. And it's just super cool. I really hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Luxury Hotel and Resort Travel. And there's a picture of the ocean with like two little white beach chairs. It's really pretty. I think you guys will love it. Luxury Hotel and Resort Travel. And whenever I'm in your town for one of these trips, whichever one of you that I know from this channel in that area, you can come stay with me for free. Just come hang out. I know that that's like kind of weird. Come stay with me, you don't even know me. But come hang out at least. Not come stay with me, but not like not spend the night and share the bed, you know, but come hang out. Uh, that would be cool. Because I'm planning on doing this all over the country and then all over the world. But we got to start in California. My first two of the luxury hotels and resorts have been the nicest resort that the San Bernardino National Forest offers, which is the Lake Arrowhead Resort and Spa. So it's not a five star, but it's as nice as it gets up here. And then the last one I did was a couple days ago for Christmas Eve night and Christmas night for my mom. And we checked out, and uh, yeah, I posted those, or that video yesterday, or two days ago. And then I already did stay at the Monarch Beach Resort, which got bought out by the, uh, it got bought out by the Waldorf Astoria. But I didn't know I was gonna be doing this other channel when I was staying there. So I need to go stay there again, and do another recording, or do a recording. But it's really cool, guys. It's just a cool channel, just, to show people that if someone like me can go stay in, 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 you know, in these places and just experience a little bit of the good life, you do it often enough, it'll feel like you're always, that's the way I want to feel. And you only live one life. I don't want to be miserable and complaining all the time and bitching about other people doing well and I'm not and, you know, poor me, poor me and getting mad at them for doing well. I decided with this, you only live once, so I'm gonna do well. Screw it, forget it. Nothing's gonna stop me, no one's gonna stop me. And I just wanna raise the tide so all the boats, all the people around me get a nice lift out of what I do and inspire other people to do more and not listen to other people. My whole life, except for my mom and dad, I was told that I'm not good enough, I won't amount to anything, and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to that stuff, guys. I'm telling you. It's the people who people who say that are the ones who are worried you're gonna steal some of their thunder, maybe, because they're intimidated by you. That's the way you should look at it. But anyway, I talk about this stuff a lot because I love you guys, and you guys changed my life. And if there's anything I can do to give back to you, I will. All right, so let's go. We're in the village. It's a lot deeper. Snow now, as you can see. From the last little drive we on. Yeah, this is pretty sick. No one out here. We're gonna take some of the side roads so we can have fresh tracks, so we can make fresh tracks in the in the nice little bit of snow we got here. This is great, you guys. <laughs> so 
So we're going to turn right at the next street. Well, once we're on Big Bear Boulevard, we're going to turn right at the next street, which is Knickerbocker. And then we're going to take the back roads all the way. So guys, if there's traffic right here and you want to get to Moon Ridge, check this out. Check this out. Sometimes the locals get mad at me for, for giving you guys these, these really cool back routes to get to where you need to go. But if you're going to take these roads, please be drive super slow because there's lots of kids up here. And I think that's why a lot of the locals get mad at me because everyone from or a lot of people from downhill are are always in a rush. And so when you're on the side streets, you got all these kids up here. So just be careful on the side streets. But I want you guys to have a good time up here and not be stuck in traffic the whole darn time. So you take Knickerbocker right up here. And instead of turning right into the village, you turn left at the at the middle school. And the it, and it turns into Pennsylvania Street or Pennsylvania Avenue one of the two. And then we just take Pennsylvania Avenue as far as we can basically until it says you, uh, this turns into a dead end and then you turn left at that street. So basically if you just follow the signs. However, if it's snowing like this, it's hard to see the signs. Okay, we're making fresh tracks guys. Sweet! tracks folks okay so Jeffries make a left but then you want to make a right it says to highway 18 make a left okay very good but we want to make a right not at this first street oh wait was it was it oh yes we need, I couldn't see the street. There's too much snow. So we're backing up. Yeah. Look at how deep it is. Look at those look at those tire marks. It's about five or six inches. And we're making the fresh tracks, guys. But I have like the best snow tires that money can buy. And also we got this vehicle lifted. And this is Subaru's like best drivetrain that they offer. This is their newest best stuff. So this is as safe as it gets. And as I said, we're making the fresh tracks in this in this snow. This is really awesome. And the vehicle is just gripping like no other. Oh, can't see. So right here it says not a through street. So we want to make a left here. And this is called Eureka. Now, when it's snowing, the street can be very dangerous because on the sides, a lot of it is big dips that you can't see when there's snow. Big dips. So if you like swerve to the side of the road a little bit, thinking you're just like right in front of someone's driveway, like especially like right here, you see that, that red post on the right? It's a huge dip right there. You will get stuck and you will not get out. I promise you. Even if you're driving this car, you will not get out. Fresh tracks, baby. Man, it's just dumping right now. Okay, this is Wren. We're gonna make a left on Wren. W-R-E-N. And 
not on McWhitney, but on the next street, we're gonna make a right, which is Brownie Lane. Then we take Brownie all the way to Moon Ridge. All the way to Moon Ridge, man. Yeah, man. Then when I get home, I'm gonna do the witchy wipe one more time. You know what? They've got to have some sort of like heated pads that you put on put over your windshield wipers so when you come out to the car you just take them off and your windshield wipers are fine that's you know that's a good idea if they don't have those i think i'm gonna have to develop something like that if, but i'm sure there's got to be something if if i thought of it i know there's something out there like it but yeah like a little sleeve that you put over all right, now, you know what? We're gonna go to Snow Summit. So we make a right right here. We're going in through the exit though, okay? Not that you guys care, but we're gonna hit the most amount of snow. Wow, there's a, some serious animal tracks right in front of us. See that? Where is it leading to? Where is it leading to? Oh, he turned right. He turned right. You shouldn't turn left, bro. Wow, I can feel it getting deep. Wow, guys, this is so cool. Okay, we are entering the parking lot of Snow Summit. I know we do this a lot, you guys, but this is, it looks way different now because we have snow and a good amount. Unfortunately, this car grips too damn well to get loose. That's kind of the unfortunate thing about all the upgrades that I've done to the vehicle for more like stability and stuff like that for these travels. Um, kind of sucks because we can't get loose. It really makes me sad. I might even cry about it. I just might. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna try and get loose when we make a left, right? Left here. Here we go. Let's see. Hey buddy, I'm plowing the road for you. Okay, we're just gonna go back to Big Bear Boulevard and then drive back around my house and come back and through the Moon Ridge side. And we'll drive by Bear right now. Uh, I got my foot almost completely applied on for the brake right now. Uh, it's pretty deep, guys. This is freaking phenomenal. station to the left you're like oh there goes that big bear weather poor guy jeez does he ever stop <laughs> seriously it's funny I've, I've never had a ticket up here well no that's not true i had to do traffic school one time it was on my birthday and literally i just got my old car fixed because it was my, my new job and i had enough money to get my car fixed finally so i could drive to work and I was testing it out the very next day, which was on my birthday, because I just got it back that previous evening. And I took it for a drive around the lake and I got pulled over and got a ticket, even though I told him it was my birthday. And then I wasn't too nice, I'll tell you that. I was not too nice and I feel super bad. Like afterwards, like a, like a few days later, I. I tried driving back there, trying to find the same CHP officer. Even called the CHP to ask them if I could speak to him or, because I didn't have my ticket anymore, so I couldn't remember his name. Just to apologize, because I was really rude. And you know what, 
I was the one completely in the wrong. I shouldn't have been driving. Who cares if it's my birthday? It doesn't matter. And the funny thing is, is I was thinking that, you know what? I'm probably going to get a ticket. Like, the only time I shouldn't... Oh, it's because I didn't have a registration. Yeah, that's what it was. It was because of, like... It was the registration. That's what it was. So, I was taking it out. Um, it had been sitting for a long time. So, it like, uh, right after it had been registered the previous year, it, it broke down, and I couldn't afford the 300 bucks. So, I had to wait a year. Like, seriously, that's how struggling I was. Um, and I had to wait a year to get enough money so I had enough food to be able to pay for my car and I did and uh, ended up the first day driving it just to test see how everything was working after it got fixed and I got a ticket for registration not cool, not cool. okay we're making freshies on this side too This one's super sketchy. That's why we're taking it. Usually I would put X mode on right here, but we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna see if we can make it without X mode. Fresh tracks and everything, guys. Oh my God. See, this is why no one's coming up this road. <laughs> That's why there's no tracks on either side because it's so steep. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Oh no, slow down, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going super slow. This is something you just do not want to screw around with. Okay, these are tracks from someone who just came out on this street to the right of us. But no one had the courage to go up or down there. Or no one had the stupidity. Oh my gosh, it's a winter wonderland. Look at this, guys. So yeah, we are heading up here to go to Bear Mountain, but we're driving through the neighborhood and just making the big bear weather and more tracks. So that's what we do, yo. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Are you serious? Are you serious with that one? Are you serious?
Where are we going? Where are we going? I think we're going this way is right. It's correct, my friend. I think we're correct. treacherous over here. Oh yeah. Getting snow in the car. Ice in the car. Alright, this is Moon Ridge Road, but we're just gonna go straight across and merge onto Moon Ridge Road. Always a treacherous turn right here. Lots of people get really loose and slide into the driveway over there on the left. tracks kind of threw me off for a second. I almost kind of kind of uh, screwed myself there. Look at this guy in the middle of the night. Four in the morning, going for a nice little ice walk. I bet, oh, he works at the mountain. So probably asked if he wants a lift. But it is just right here. It's probably nice to wake up to this. Can't even see. I'm just focusing on the signs on the side of the road and just trying to drive in the middle. <laughs> I just hope I, oh, hope I don't, oh, oh. Okay, where, oh, where, oh, where did that little road go? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? It is dumping. It is absolutely dumping. 25 degrees. We're gonna pull into the parking lot. Oh my gosh. I hope they don't get mad at me for being in here. They probably will. Oh, you know what? They they will. I'm gonna have to bounce. After we do a few donuts. They're coming after me right now, so we gotta go. Sorry about that, guys. You just messed up my first track. another parking lot up here that we're gonna have to hammer out because it's just awesome oh my God. one time in my Mercedes ML 500 with my nephew back in like 2005 or 6 I took him skiing and we almost ran into this uh, this to the right the telephone pole I hit the brakes and I, it just wouldn't stop. I couldn't turn nothing and it just kept sliding right towards it and stopped about a foot away from it. We were so scared. Man, some of these deep pouches are kind of pulling us around. But we're good. You good? in the middle. I'm going would be a cop and that would not be good but it's it's 4 30 in the morning and I'm in the middle of the road there's 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 no one out I'm not making fresh tracks on this road but it's just freaking so much fun you guys please give me a break I'm saying like during regular hours when kids are outside all the time that's that's when you really want to be extra cautious oh shoot or even oh foot's fully on the brakes there let go to press let go to press let go to press. <laughs> oops 
Look at this guy right here. Okay, we're gonna go straight across into this parking lot. I hope they have it all blocked off earlier, like with like, oh man, I can't even tell. You know what? We're not gonna do it because I can't see if there's a fence there or not. That's the craziest thing. There's so much snow, I can't even tell if there's a fence. But now we're on Moon Ridge and we can have a little fun. It's a wide, wide road. There's so much snow over here. There's like six or seven inches at least. It's really come down quick, you guys. Watch. In front of my driveway is going to be a nightmare because I'll bet the snow plow came. No, the snow plow hasn't come through on Moon Ridge yet, clearly, because I'm driving like a. I'm just all over. I mean, I'm in control, don't get me wrong, but the snow is kind of pulling me all over. Anyway, here we are. Let's see. Oops, slammed on the brakes, we're good. We are good. All right, guys. I'm gonna say TTFN, ta ta for now. I mean, you know, like, these lights right here are so pretty. Come on, man. That's just so gorgeous right there. Winter one.